Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Fresco and welcome to my YouTube channel. You may know me from Instagram or TikTok, but I'm so excited to be sharing more with you guys on YouTube. Everything from curly hair, house plants, home decor, a little bit of fashion. If you're interested in any of that, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting a new video every other week. To start things off, I'm gonna be answering my top 20 most asked hair questions. Since I started wearing my hair naturally and sharing it more on TikTok and Instagram, I've gotten an overwhelming amount of questions from you guys, and it was really tough to narrow it down to just 20 questions, but these are really the most frequently asked. Now, I could literally sit here all day talking about curly hair, but I figured I want to keep this pretty quick for you all, so if there's something you want to know more about, make sure you drop a comment below, and I'll make sure I feature that in an upcoming video. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> so, I'm going to be reading these off my laptop. Question number one, how long do you go between washes? I get this question almost every single day and I usually go anywhere from four to six days. And sometimes I'll wash it more frequently in the summer if I'm working out a lot or if I've used a product that I really don't like how it worked in my hair. But other than that, four to six days is pretty standard. How do you deal with greasy hair between washes? I've always been someone that doesn't wash their hair that frequently, even before I was styling it naturally, and I never really realized it was because I do have curlier hair that it doesn't get oily as fast. So I think my body's kind of trained at this point to not overproduce those oils and really doesn't start to look like excessively oily until about a week. That being said, if I have somewhere to go or my hair just like isn't really looking great, maybe from a product I used, I will use a dry shampoo foam or just a straight up powder. What products or ingredients should curly girls avoid? The three main ingredients to look out for, especially if you have curly or textured hair, are silicone, sulfate, and drying alcohols. Sulfates are just a detergent and that's really what makes your shampoo suds, that nice feeling that we all like. Because curly hair is dry to begin with, using a sulfate shampoo actually can make your hair even drier, which leads to frizziness and breakage. The second is silicones, and they're basically just a plastic. They're really good at coating your hair, eliminating frizz, and they do work really well, but they also lead to a lot of product buildup and over time can make your hair frizzier and your curls look lifeless. And the third is drying alcohols. They essentially draw moisture out of your hair and create more frizz. Before I started wearing my hair naturally, I really had no idea how important it was to really look at the formulation of your shampoo, conditioner, and uh, hair styling products. And so many brands at this point make products without these ingredients that it's pretty easy to actually find things that work better for your hair type. Next question, do I brush my curly hair and when? So this is a question I get a lot and I've actually found some different information on this. I personally like to brush my hair out dry before I get in the shower and wash it. I have seen, however, that this is kind of controversial that curly girls really should be brushing their hair when it's wet, if there's conditioner or a leave-in mask in to help avoid any breakage or pulling. Like a lot of curly girls do brush their hair when it's wet, either in the shower with conditioner or a mask in, but I personally have been using this method and it works for me. How do you deal with knots and tangles? Well, I get the worst knots and tangles in the back of my, in like the nape of my neck and in these hairs right here. And a lot of the time I'll just leave it. I feel like it feels a lot worse than it looks sometimes and it's not always worth completely redoing my hair. But if it's really bad and there's, you know, a huge puff ball on the side of my head, I'll usually just brush out that section, wet it and restyle it. How do you sleep on your hair? I was messing this up for way too long. I was just sleeping with my hair down and assuming I was gonna have to totally restyle my hair in the morning. Now I just sleep with it in a pineapple on top of my head and it looks so much better in the morning. I'm able to avoid a lot of knots, the frizz isn't there, and it's still really defined from the day before. I did recently make a full video on this on TikTok with some other methods you can try out, so I'll make sure I drop a link for that below. How do you refresh your hair? Going back to the sleeping method, I feel like I'm refreshing a lot less frequently because I'm doing a better job of maintaining it at night. If I do wake up and it's looking a little bit frizzy, I'll tend to just do um, a, styling, a restyling mist or a refreshing spray. I really like the one from We Dad or I'll just do a cream and kind of coat that over any frizz. But if it's really lost a lot of definition, it's just not looking good, I'll usually just wet it in the shower and totally start from scratch. What is your hair type and what do you ask for when you get a haircut? This is another one I struggle with. People are so quick to snap at you, especially on TikTok about like, you don't have curly hair, you have wavy hair. It's not type two, it's this, blah, 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 blah. And I don't really wanna get into it. I don't personally care what you wanna call my hair. To me, it's curly hair. I like to say I'm probably in the two range, maybe even a three A on a really good day, or if I'm in like a tropical place. And what do I ask for when I get my hair cut? So I used to dread getting my hair cut because I would show up with straight hair and then it would dry curly and I would be disappointed. Well, duh, what did I expect was gonna happen? But now I know, show up with curly hair, bring your stylist inspiration, make sure you're going to someone that actually knows how to cut curly hair. And I usually just ask for long layers. I like to preserve as much length as I can. Um, so you can see a little bit of change here, but not too much. And this time around, I did ask for some shorter pieces. Um, they're not super short. I was a little nervous that they would, you know, be too short, but at this point I'm actually thinking about doing bangs, but I'm a little scared to commit. What's your typical styling routine? 
it's long, so get ready. <laughs> so this is usually pretty standard in order, but I tend to vary the products that I actually use. I start off with shampoo, then I do a conditioner and perhaps a leave-in mask or a um, deep conditioning treatment. Once I get out of the shower, I put in a leave-in conditioner and I'll put in some type of styling product. So either a cream gel, um, a styling cream, even a mousse. I don't really like traditional gel. I find that it makes my hair too crisp and I don't really like the way the curls turn out. Um, and then I'll either diffuse or let it air dry. Once it's dry, I apply a shine cream or an oil to kind of smooth away any flyaways. And I think that's it. All right, we are halfway there at question number 11. What's your favorite product to get the most defined curls? So I recently started using Bounce Curls um, Light Gel Cream, or sorry, Light Cream Gel, and I love it. It gives me the most defined curls. It's like I'm on a tropical island. Like if I ever go to, you know, Florida or anywhere in the Caribbean, my hair is like whew, a whole nother animal, and that's what it makes my hair do when I'm here. How long did it take you to get where you are now hair-wise? I started really transitioning to just doing curly hair um, probably a year and a half ago, I'd say last summer 2019, and for the first six months was a lot of trial and error, figuring it out, but it was also getting used to, you know, seeing yourself differently in the mirror. This shape of my hair right now is not the same shape when it's straight, and at this point I feel like it's almost my two different personalities, so it did take me a while mentally to just kind of get used to this new person in a way. And as far as hair-wise, again, it probably took me a solid, you know, six to nine months to really figure out the right products to use, um, to just kind of educate myself about curly hair. And going back to those ingredients that you should avoid, I never knew any of that before I started really focusing on my hair health. How do I get my hair to be long? I personally feel that my hair has never been longer or shorter than this length. Even when I get a haircut, it literally looks the same. So I don't know if I can tell you how to secretly get your hair to be longer. Um, I did actually start using this um, hair growth gel product from VV Naturals that I'm liking, but I've only been using for a little bit, so I can't really say if it's, you know, working or not. Also just being conscientious of your haircuts. Conscientious. Why am I struggling to say this so much? Being conscientious of your haircuts. Um, I always try to ask for them to keep as much length as possible because I know my hair doesn't grow super fast. I also don't really take anything special. I just kind of try to keep a generally healthy diet. What are your go-to curly hairstyles? Well, I honestly wear my hair down like 90% of the time. I love just kind of moving it around. I like to touch my hair a lot, flip it over, and that's kind of my go-to style. But I do also like doing it in that like half up look. Um, now that I have these front pieces, I do like leaving them out a little bit more. I do braids kind of frequently, um, especially if my hair's really not looking so hot. But that's really it. I do have a lot of hair styling videos, but they're not always like my go-tos. How do I add texture to my air dried hair and keep my curls from becoming limp? I always have more definition when I diffuse my hair versus air dry, so that might be a good thing to try out, but if you do air dry your hair a lot, try using a texturizing spray. I'll usually use that around my roots to try to add back in that extra volume. Also, if you're noticing that your curls are kind of becoming limp, not looking as defined, you might want to use a clarifying shampoo. Um, I never really knew how important that was until kind of recently. It is a really good way to just give your hair like a super deep clean, get rid of any product buildup you might be having. If you have curly hair, you know you're using a lot of products and you do have to get rid of that because they can become heavy on your hair and start to weigh it down and give you those limp curls. How do I keep my hair hydrated and replenished? Hair masks and deep conditioning treatments are really a great way to be adding moisture back into your hair. Um, you can use a moisture mask pretty much as much as you want. You can even really use it in place of conditioner. So if you're finding your hair is super dry, you might wanna try building out into your hair routine. Also though, make sure you're balancing out those moisture masks with a protein mask. Can I use drugstore products on my hair? Absolutely. Of course you can use drugstore products, especially now so many drugstore brands are becoming more clean and curly hair friendly, which is going back to that whole no silicones, no sulfates, and no alcohol. So it's really easy now to find affordable products that don't include those bad ingredients. I would say that about 50% of my hair styling products are from drugstores. What are your top suggestions for eliminating frizz? So this is the constant struggle, right? We all want to have perfect frizz-free hair, defined curls. So I think a lot of frizz kind of stems from the start of styling. So that means when you get out of the shower, when are you applying your products? Are you touching your hair a lot? Are you still using a regular towel to dry your hair? You really should be using a t-shirt or microfiber cloth to dry your hair. That's really going to help try to preserve those curls. Applying products when your hair is sopping wet. This is something I didn't really know until I started getting into this. The wetter your hair is, the more definition you're going to have and the less frizz you're going to have. Oh, also, stop touching your hair, especially while it's wet. The less you touch it and the more it can just dry on its own, the less frizz you're going to have. I have curly hair, but I've never used a diffuser. Where do I start? 
The diffuser was a game changer for me. I never really knew how to use one until last year and it seriously makes the biggest difference. Like I said, I get so much more volume when I diffuse my hair and it's really nice to just be able to dry your hair quickly. I know all of us have probably suffered from sitting around for hours with slightly wet hair. If your blow dryer didn't come with the diffuser, you can find a universal one on Amazon. There are so many and they're pretty affordable. I can link the one I use below. I think it's only about $20 and it'll fit like most standard blow dryers. I do have a ton of tutorials on my TikTok, so I'll just link those below and you can check them out. How do I keep volume at the roots of my hair? My ends are always curlier than the top. So if you have long hair, naturally it's just gonna pull down and you're gonna have less volume on top than you do on the bottom. But this is another thing that can definitely be fixed with a diffuser. I have a lot of tutorials that you can check out that kind of help to encourage more curls at the top of your head and give you that volume. What is the one thing that you would tell someone struggling with their curly hair journey? I would tell you to keep going, don't give up. It is so worth it in the end, but it does take a lot of trial and error to get to the place you wanna be. So much of it is a mental game. It's just learning how to see yourself a little differently um, and just getting used to having your hair be a different style than it's probably been for a really long time. All right, so it just got like really sunny in here and I have a weird shadow. But two is giving your hair time to heal. If you've been color treating your hair, or doing a ton of heat styling, your hair's gonna have some damage that may need to be taken care of with a haircut or maybe able to be cured with, you know, different types of hair products. And last would be finding the right hair products. It's a lot of trial and error. I can't even begin to imagine how many products I've tried over the last year, but once you find that routine that works for you, you're gonna be like, wow, so worth it, and you'll be so happy at the end of the day. <sighs> All right, that takes us to the end of our questions. I know I went through those kind of quickly, but if there's anything that you wanna learn more about, please drop a comment below, and I'll make sure I feature that in an upcoming video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are interested in learning more about you know, curly hair, houseplants, home decor, fashion. I'm really excited to be posting more for you guys. And make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Bye.